I think I can give up. Yeah. And oh, this is the moment I die! Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Neil and today we are going to play a Fortress IS-4 Tier 10 Russian Heavy Tank. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel so you will not miss a new one. So its history starts with a fun fact. Its history started a bit earlier than IS-3 and its number 4 got because it was put into the service a bit later than IS-3. The reason why its development took much more time than IS-3 is because it was developed in a secret. So, secret that even Russian army didn't know about it. The tank was internal project of Chelyabinsk tank factory. And why it was so secret? Well, Russian army set a top weight limit for uh, newly produced tanks and IS-4 didn't meet it. The limit was set to 46 tons and IS-4 with its 60 tons wasn't nowhere near this limit. So the 10 factory was basically afraid that this project would be cancelled by Russian army due to this limit. First prototype was built in 1944 and the tank was put into the trials to face various Soviet and German self-propelled guns. It turned out to be much more protected than current IS-2 and Russian army approved it to take the IS-4 into the service in April 1946. First tanks were delivered in 1947 and the production lasted till 1949. Quite short-lived production, isn't it? It was mostly due to high production cost in comparison to IS-3. USSR then decided to uh, continue with development of IS-3 and its successors uh, from IS-5 to IS-9. There were 219 IS-4s produced and most of them were used on borders with Korea during Korean War and later they were moved to China borders where they were used as a little armed fortresses. In World of Tanks Blitz it is different, a much better story and the tank occupies the highest tier in its tech tree. IS-4 basically follows most of the rules for super heavy setup. The gun is not really impressive one, with one of the worst DPM, just average penetration, the worst aim time and gun depression and quite bad dispersion, the gun is average at best. What makes up for it is a bit of alpha damage which is higher by 20, so trading shots is quite good. Even trading shots with E100 which have really good alpha is quite smooth, because when E100 fires, you can put two shots into it and a hide. Or even better, phase hack E100. IS-4 have the thickest turret armor and quite well angled, so there is not many tanks which can penetrate your turret. And E100 is not one of the tanks which can do. Another great feature of IS-4's armor is quite well armored hull cheeks, so peak a boom strategy is quite effective. From front, your main weak spot is lower plate, which is not big at all, and with a bit of movement, quite hard to hit. Second weak spot from the front is driver's wizard, but same what I said about the lower plate applies for the wizard. But the best angle if is somewhere between 25 to 35 degrees angle. At that moment, IS-4 turns into moving fortress. From mobility point of view, the IS-4 is not really a fast tank, but not terribly slow. Out of the fortress-like tanks, it is one of the faster. As a summary, I would say its gun is not made for sniping, and if you do snipe in it, you are probably doing it wrong. This tank is made for brawling, it is basically one of the best brawlers in the game, and the best distance from your enemy is basically on their face. So let's squash some faces then. So, E100, E50M, I7, plenty of heavies, mediums, kind of mixture. Oh no, not really, they have two mediums, four heavies and one TD, so okay. 
Let's move on. Lovely, rico lovely ricochet. It's an interesting approach by uh, Object 268, but we can maybe one more shot into him. No. 268 now peeks out. Goes for a shot. Come on! Where's my team again? Oh boy. Ricochet. Guys, no help. I think I can give up. Yeah. And oh, this is the moment I die. Yeah. <laughs> What you can do here? Look, five guys. I hope I held them, you know? What is a guy dying? Oh, okay. One more game. So, welcome to Winter Marinovka. Enemy team have one, two, three, four heavies and three TDs. So, there'll be plenty of guys on C cap. We have two mediums. They'll probably cap an A. Well, we'll be fighting a C cap. Hopefully, I'll survive a bit. I should not be pushing, which is my. Um, custom past few months I'd say and that drives my statistics down because being in front doesn't help especially when my team is there yeah just as usual getting into a pretty bad situations when uh, there are like tanks from different angles so I can't utilize my armor properly so ready wise move on I'm, I'm, I'm one of three just shot so he have reload faster reload <laughs> Come on, is it true? MX 50B died because. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, I didn't expect that one to happen. Another one like 525. Now it's time to reverse. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, 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 boy. Oh, come on! What's happening here? Oh, this will hurt, this will hurt. No, 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 no. And run. He's on reload. Run, 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 run. Okay. Save it a bit. Phase hug E100. What he want to do? That's what I'm saying. That's the moment. This is the moment of IS4. You know what? Farm, 
Ah, uh, I have some French there. Good. Lovely. Wow. Whew. Shame, 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 shame. But we we'll probably win this one. Yeah. Thanks to our mediums. <laughs> but you've seen how to play it against E100. Just face it, hug it, and uh, keep hugging it till it dies. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you do so, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I think you've seen this is pretty good tank and I still quite enjoy to play it. And I uh, wish you loads of good results in the games and have masteries and so on. And I'll see you in a Sunday uh, at 7 p.m. <laughs> What's this? I've been praised by like everyone. Wow. <laughs> That feels great. So yeah, I'll see you in Sunday at 7 p.m. Central European time. And in the meantime, I'll see you on the battlefield. Just like I met uh, already some of my subscribers. So yeah, see you and bye-bye.